to another great episode in our new series, Conversations That Lead to Greatness. Okay, so today's topic, we're going to focus on habits, okay? Yes, good, bad, all of that. Habits, routines, all of that. But first, I want to start with the actual definition of what a habit is. So, a habit is a routine or behavior that is performed on a regular basis. In many cases, it's automatic. Meaning we don't, it's, uh, we don't even think about it, so we do it subconsciously, okay? So, let's jump right on in. Let's start with you, Smith, Mr. Smith. Let's go. Talk to me. Okay, so what is the importance, what do you think is the importance of a daily routine, to have one? I think a routine is very important because it keeps you, keep you grounded. Yes. And as it keeps you grounded, um, if something wants to come into your coming to to the day that's you know that's not uh, expected um, you can go ahead and handle that real quick and get back into your normal routine right got it yeah. see with me I'm a routine person like I just can't live just by you know fly by night or whatever mm -hmm. I'm the type of person that I need a routine because I need to know what my day is going to look like I need to know how to prepare for that day so for me I would say it's very important because we have two little girls mm -hmm. uh, we have a baby we have a five-year-old and a one-year-old mm -hmm. um, and then it's very important to make sure they're on a routine it's important that my husband and I is on a routine to make sure our household runs smoothly as possible and our businesses run smooth as possible so you mm -hmm. definitely want to have a routine um, and I also feel that routine like to have a routine it cuts out all the excuses yeah. Of, yeah. you know, that we make when we know we're supposed to be doing something, whether it's in our business, whether it's at home, at work, it cuts down on all the excuses. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, what do you think about that? The oh, excuse. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you know, we all, we all got them excuses. And them excuses, they'll pile up if you allow them to. And, you know, nobody, have, nobody is there to hold you accountable but yourself, yeah. you know. And you keep putting them excuses up there. It's, man. <laughs> and I, I would say like the number one excuse I think it's a cliche or kind of what everyone uses the number one excuse is like for, like when you're trying to get healthy yeah <laughs> and the number one excuse yeah. is I don't have time to work out yeah like how many of you guys done said that the new yeah. year come you know you got this fire you got this motivation yeah. and then life sets in your routine sets in and you be like I don't have time to work out mm -hmm. you know but if you work that into your routine that you already have going on yeah. meaning cut out all the bad routine mm -hmm. all the sitting on um, social media strolling all the sitting on the couch watching all the reality TV yeah. Yeah. cut out I would say at least 30 to 45 minutes of that and take your butt to the gym oh yeah you know you agree it's, you know hey you know my you know my morning routine yeah, you know yeah, I yeah, wake yeah. up I, I wake up at 4, 4, 4, 4, 4.15 every morning, mm -hmm. and I'm out the door at 5 o'clock on the way to the gym. You know, that, that, that's not been my routine all the time, but for the last three months or so, that's been my routine. I like that routine mm -hmm. because it, um, when you work out early in the morning like that, it releases like positivity in you for the day. Endorphins. And those those yeah. endorphins into you. And, hey, man, that's, that's, that's life-changing. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that, you know, that should be your routine. Maybe you can't get up at four fifteen. Maybe you can get up at six. You mm -hmm. know, go to work out before you go to the gym. I mean, before you go to work. Uh -huh. Because if you wait till after you get out of work, you're probably not gonna feel like it. That's just period and point blank. You know, a lot of people say, "Well, I go to work out. I go to work out after I get off. You know, from work." You Most of the time, you're not gonna do it. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's see. How do you change up a routine? So that it'd be more effective and successful in reaching the goal that you set out. Because we already know, we all know that to reach a goal, you got to have a routine yeah. that's done daily. Yeah. So in our other um, podcast, when we were talking about goals and goal setting, we said that you have to do something every day that pertains to your goal to reach your goal. Yeah. So now we're bringing that into routines. Mm -hmm. So how do you set a routine that is successful and can help you reach your goal? Well... More effectively. The thing that you don't like doing, just like we were talking about, just talking about the gym. Yeah. The thing that you don't like doing, you might want to try to knock those out earlier in the day. So you can, your brain can think about yeah, it. Yeah, for your brain can even <laughs> think about it because later on that day, like I said, you're probably not going to make it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, we can we can use that as a, as 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 a, um analogy or else you can say something like, you know, a lot of people don't like cleaning up or don't like, or, you know, yeah. to, to wash dishes. Maybe you want to knock that out early in the day. 
you know, so that way, you know, later on when you're not feeling like it, and you could just come home and just plop down on the couch and watch TV or whatever, but you already knocked that out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. And I also say start with small changes. Yeah, small changes. Like, take your routine that you yeah. already have, right? Because mm -hmm. we think about we're human. We yeah. Life happens. Life goes on. Yeah. Um, you take the routine that you already have. You point out one or two things that you know you can change and need to change. Yeah. Okay? And you replace that bad habit with something positive, a mm -hmm. good habit. Okay? okay? So, like with me, um, uh, my bad habit was just sitting on social media, strolling. Before you realize, you are an hour, two hours strolling. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And because I, I made the excuse that, oh, I'm, I have a business. You mm -hmm. know, my business... You got to have social media. You got to be on it. That's yeah. my business evolving around social media. Yeah. So I use that as an excuse, but I realized I wasn't getting nothing done in my business. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I put myself on a limit of how long I can be on social media. Oh, yeah. I'll get on, post, and get off. Now I even got, well, when I used to do, I used to do where you, um, they have different apps. You can schedule your post yeah. and, mm -hmm. you know, lay everything out ahead of time. And then yeah. I set my alarm. Once it go off, post and get off. Yeah. Um, so what you want to do is just start small. Mm -hmm. Don't go and say, okay, I'm, I'm cut out all social media. You know, it, it's, it's yeah. hard. Yeah. Start small. Yeah. All right, you just... And hey, another thing too. <laughs> I got a good one for y'all. Stop taking that phone in the restroom with y'all. Oh, about yeah. bed. Uh, about a bed too. You oh. can leave that phone in another room or something when you go to bed. You know, so that way you can get your accurate amount of sleep in. So that way you can get up in the morning and go to the gym or get up in the morning and do whatever you want to do. If you stop taking that phone in the restroom, it won't take you 45 minutes to use the restroom. He's talking about me, y'all, okay? Hey, hey, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, hey, you got, you got, you got to do that, man. I'm, I'm in the, on there knocking on the door, hey, baby, what you doing? Hey. Uh, I'm using the restroom. No, you've been in there a long time, man. You know, you got that phone in there with you? Yeah, I got the phone here with me. Hey, you know, it's, yeah. hey, yeah. I step on my toes and I say ouch and do better. All right, exactly. You get the, you, that's, that's 15 minutes, 30 minutes. You could have been cleaning at the gym, whatever, you know, whatever something that's positive throughout the day or 30 minutes reading, you know. Reading is, 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 yeah. is key. Okay. Yeah, but anyway. So let's talk yeah. about um, habits. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about bad habits mm -hmm. that we have that's stopping us from our greatness yeah. and stopping us from living the life of abundance. Oh, okay? yeah. Now, we already know habits are routines. Mm -hmm. It's behaviors, right? Mm -hmm. that, is perform that is performed on a regular basis. Meaning we do this unconsciously every day because it's set in our mind that this is what it is. This mm -hmm. is the course. This is what we're doing. Oh, yeah. So let's talk about some bad habits that can stop us from reaching our goals, becoming our greater self, mm -hmm. or even living the life of abundance. Yeah. Um, give me one or two of them, and we'll just go from there. I had a friend. He would get off from work every day. He liked beer. He get off from work every day, and he go by the bar, have him four or five beers. You know what I'm saying? But he would complain about his his bills were behind. Uh -huh. Okay, your bills behind. Okay, let's look in look into your life and see what you do on a daily basis to see why your bills are behind. He said, "Well, when I get off work. I go by and have me four or five bills. Okay." Each bill six dollars, seven dollars a piece. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. That's that's a little bit expensive. Yes. So maybe we can not go by the bar. And I say, I say, how long you stay at the bar? Oh, two hours, two and a half hours. Really? <laughs> you know, that's two hours, two and a half hours, or something. You could have been doing something else. You know, building your dream. You know, uh, on a side business or whatever. But let's start with the beer first of all. Okay. Cut back on that beer habit. By going going to the bar and spending six, seven, eight dollars a beer, and buy you a twelve pack at the store mm. on the way home, you know it's cheaper, you know. But I don't like sitting at home and drinking at the house. I like to you know be around people when I'm drinking. Well, I don't know what to tell you, brother. <laughs> it seems like you're making excuses. Mm -hmm. That's what it seems like. So let's break that bad habit by stopping by the the um the bar on the way home. Let's stop and get us a 12-pack, and it's going to be a whole lot cheaper. You might pay $12, $15 for a 12-pack. I don't know exactly how much it is. I don't buy beer. But it's going to be a lot cheaper than it would be if you would have been getting it at the, at the bar. Hmm. So it's like, and then his wife was nagging him. Okay, his wife nagging him, saying, where you been? Well, you going by the bar every day, two hours, you ain't spending time with me, and this and that. Uh, of course, you know how the women is. They want that time, and he ain't spending time with his kids. 
And, you know, it, it, leads, it, 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 trickles, it, it, it down. trickles down. It keeps trickling down. It keeps trickling, trickling down. down. You know, yes. I, and then uh, you happen to ha have to get a divorce because <laughs> you're going to, you know, I'm pretty sure she's going to call you out of it first. She's going to let you know. But, you know, it can it can get pretty bad. Yes. So another, the bad habits. Yeah, yeah the mm -hmm. bad habits. Another bad habit we have is um, not prioritizing. Yeah. What's important. Mm-hmm. You know, putting things in perspective and prioritizing them to help us reach our goal, our end goal, mm -hmm. um, and becoming our greater self, we kind of, you know, that is a bad habit because we just think, oh, however the day going to go, that's what it is. Like, we don't get up with a plan in mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. We just wake up and just like, okay, here we go. Let's start the day. But if you have a plan for your day, like you plan your day, and you also put it in, like, prioritize what is important and what is the least important, that would be a habit that would, I mean, like, catapult you to your next goal or closer to your goal. Mm -hmm. So we have to make a, um, a priority to plan what is important mm -hmm. for that day yeah. or even for that week. Because right now, our whole challenge is about becoming your greater self, like achieving greatness within yourself and living the life of abundance. Mm -hmm. Now, we're talking about abundance in love, relationships, um, prosperity, money, life, like just living abundance. You know, what? Ab what is abundance? What, what, what does abundance mean? Abundance, abundance is having more than what you need. More. Than having what more, you need. having more than what you need, having more cars than you need, having more houses than what you need, having more love than what you need, having more money than what you need, having more than what you need. That's a life of abundance. Life of abundance mm -hmm. is having more than what you need. And therefore, when you have more than what you need, the little, like the Bible say, you my cup run it over, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it trickles over and it spills down to those that are around you mm -hmm. then that become your giving you know what i'm saying yeah. so you get to yeah. give to others you get to give without even thinking you have lack mm -hmm. basically yeah. so bad habits plays a big role in you not reaching your goal mm -hmm. and it also play a big role in you making excuses oh, yeah. like you can't blame nobody but yourself for having a bad habit and exactly. not reaching your goal mm -hmm. all right so yeah. any more on that or what you want yeah, i think we're good on that one. okay what you got? so i want to talk about tips because I don't want us to sit here and, you know, give you like, okay, this is what bad habits is, this is what you have, and pick and pick and pick it mm -hmm. without giving you tips to overcome it or how to change a bad habit, yeah. okay? So I jot down a couple of tips that will help you restart your life, help mm -hmm. you restart a new routine that's more effectively and that is more successful in mm -hmm. reaching your goal, okay? Yeah. So my first one I put, be honest with yourself. Yeah. Admit, you know how they say AA? I have a problem. Yeah. Admit that your routine, like what, what you have now, is not working for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Admit that it ain't what it is and I need to change it and I'm okay with that. Yeah. You know, I feel yeah. that's your first one. Yeah. Okay. You got to admit it. You got mm -hmm. to. Um, the second one I put, give yourself a fresh start. Mm. Fresh start. Yeah. Don't worry about yesterday, the past. You tried it before and it didn't work. We ain't talking about that. We doing a new day. It's mm. a fresh start, okay? Yeah. Give yourself time and a fresh start. Um, the next one, um, keep you in mind. Okay. I know you love that one. Um, when I say keep you in mind, I mean prioritize yourself. You first. Yeah, yeah. If you not okay, yeah. how, how everybody or anybody around you going to be okay? Yeah. If I'm not all right, I can't take care of you. you. Can't. I can't take care of the kids. I can't take care of nobody. You got to love yourself first. Yes. Yes, you got put, to love you first. Yes, mm -hmm. and put you first, meaning prioritize what you need. Mm -hmm. You know what you need. You, yeah, exactly. You know, you you know deep down what you need. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we put ourselves last. Yeah. And that is a whole other That's topic. Yeah, we, can, we, got, we can go a whole, yeah. do a whole hour on that, a whole segment on that. Yeah, yeah. now we don't. Yeah, yeah but I'm just saying a lot of times yeah. we mm -hmm. put ourselves last and mm -hmm. thinking it's the best thing for us mm -hmm. when we realize that we already drained. Yeah. So we already then, you know, yeah. then lost hope. Yeah, you and gave, it's, you gave way too much of yourself, yeah. and you don't have nothing left for yourself. For yourself. For yourself. For you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, another tip is give yourself extra time in between your like starting a new routine. Mm -hmm. Um, and what I mean is, say for instance, you're gonna say I'm gonna wake up 30 minutes early. 
So that's how I started. Remember, I used to wake yeah. up at 7. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he used to wake up at 4.15. And he was like, baby, you need to wake up early. You need to wake up. Because I used to always be rushing with the girls and running to the gym. Mm. So he was like, baby, just wake up 30 minutes early. You know, 15 minutes early. Yeah. Cool. And stop hitting that, stop hitting that, that, that alarm, that snooze button. <laughs> stop hitting that snooze button. Now you got to rush out the door and, 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 and run, damn near run over somebody trying to get to work or get to drop the kids off or whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah like give yourself that you need, time. Give yourself some extra time. So you might yeah. say, I want to wake up 30 minutes early. You know you have to leave the house at 8 o'clock, right? But you want to wake up 30 minutes early. What, you waking up at 6.30? You know, if it takes you an hour to get everything done, just give yourself time. So if you don't wake up or if you behind or missing something, you're not rushing. Mm -hmm. And then you feel like, okay, this ain't this habit. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just give your time in between for if you want to be a meeting, at a meeting on time or you want to be more on time for anything, yeah. give yourself an extra 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Start that habit. Mm -hmm. So um, another thing is write it down. I feel that, and you taught me this, yeah. when you write things down, we say things in our mind, but when we actually write it down, it impresses upon our subconscious mind. Oh, yeah. Like, it is, like, printed on there, like, mm -hmm. this is what it is. So, I would say, write your new routine down, starting from the time you wake up to the time you lay your head down at night. Write your whole day down and look at it every day until you get it, okay, this is what it is, this is what we're going to do, and stick to it. Mm -hmm. Stick to it. Um... I think I have two more. Um, get comfortable with your new routine yeah. before adding another one. Mm -hmm. So you might change one at a time. Well, uh, not not necessarily a routine. Get comfortable with your new habit. Yes, you're right. With your yes. new habit before yes. you for, before you start adding another one. Like you might want to say, well, you know, I like to use the gym as an analogy. You might want to go to the gym and work out, but you know what I'm saying? You don't want to add all that extra. You don't want to. Start eating right, go to the gym and work out, buy right, new gym clothes, okay. do this, do that. You don't want to just be everywhere with it. You know what I'm saying? You want to start, just go to the just go to the gym. Just get there. Just get there. Just yeah. go to the gym. You might go to the gym, just walk in the door, stand up for 15 minutes today. Go to the gym, walk in there, stand up for 20 minutes tomorrow. You know, just get in the habit of just going there. You might not even go in there and do nothing, but just go there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go there and just walk on the treadmill a little bit, you know? It's just getting in a routine of doing it. You know. And which what is it? What twenty one days to create a habit? Yeah, twenty one days to create a habit until so the habit is actually you know programmed, programmed in your yeah. in your mind. So that you know, like people they'll go to the gym for a week and then they'll just stop going. You know, well it ain't it ain't it ain't programmed yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They'll go to the gym a couple of days. Oh, I'm sore and they won't go. I'm on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just you got to. It take twenty one days to program it. So do something. Whatever you your new habit is. Or your new routine is do it for 21 days at least. 21 at least. 21 days at least. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, and my last but not least is acknowledge your achievements. Mm -hmm. You know, give yourself props that you succeeded and you, you yeah. are achieving a new and a better routine, a successful yeah. routine. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be down. So say, for instance, one day you might mess up. Okay, so what? That, that don't mean lay it down. Mm -hmm. Start over and give yourself... You know, a reward for it. Yeah. So when I like with me, I don't know. We like you. We're gym rats, okay? Um, and we like to use the gym because gym is a great metaphor for a lot of things, okay? Mm -hmm. So when we go to the gym, um, it probably be like to lose what ten to fifteen pounds mm -hmm. or to lose two pounds. Yeah. You know, and you set yourself. You be like, okay, I'm gonna do this, 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 this. This is my routine at the gym. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the 21 days, I should lose this amount or I should gain this amount of mass or weight or whatever. Yeah. Um, and once you hit it, that is the award yourself. You might go get a new workout clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, you might go eat an ice cream. You know, yeah, not, go, don't overdo it. Go get you a honey bun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, don't go crazy now. You yeah. can have them and throw them to have away or something. I don't know. I give, it, give it to your significant other. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, you know, just, yeah. just don't. I, but then again, I don't know. I, I, I'm like, you tell y'all, because that, <laughs> that half honey bun might trigger something. I don't know, man. You just, I just reward yourself. Yeah. Reward yourself whatever by doing you something. Feel. Yeah, whatever yeah. you feel is necessary, you know. But uh, you will you will never change your life until you change something you do daily. Yeah. You got to do something daily, daily to change your life. Yep. You know. Yes, and it also I would say it always start with a morning routine. Yeah. A morning sets everything in perspective. Like yeah. having a like, what is your routine in the morning? My routine in the morning is I wake up at four fifteen. I get ready, go to the gym. I'm out the door at five o'clock. 
I mean, I mean, I'm at, the, I'm at the gym at five o'clock. Sorry about that. The gym ain't too far from our house. So I'm at the gym at five o'clock. Um, by five, in between five and five fifteen, I'm walking in the gym. Mm -hmm. I'm walking out of the gym at six thirty. Six thirty. I'm, I'm very, I'm very time sensitive on how I do things mm. because they're leaving the house. My wife and the kids are leaving the house at seven, between seven and seven fifteen. Mm -hmm. So I want to be back to the house to see them off. Yeah. And then when I see them off, I get to work. I go upstairs, get on my computer, and I'm working. Yeah. I'll work till maybe nine thirty, ten o'clock. Come down, give me something to eat or whatever. Now I'll eat a little bit, and then you know, probably take me a shower. And then, after I finish taking my shower, I get back to work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you gotta, it's, it, I think you got to be kind of specific like that. Yeah. And, 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 that, and that'll, that'll stop a lot of things, a lot of things that happen in your life or to stop it from happening. Uh -huh. If you be super specific like that. You know, I'm not going to go through my whole day with the routine or whatever, but, yeah. but that's, that's, that's about what, what your routine look like. Um, my routine, um, I just actually added some more things. So my routine is wake up at 5.30, you know, get dressed, brush your teeth or whatever. Um, as I'm doing it, I'm listening to empowerment. Like I'm mm -hmm. on YouTube, I'm listening to something that can kind of set my day into motion, like yeah. set the mood right or whatever. Um, once I do that, I go upstairs, wake up the girls, get them dressed and everything. Um, get them off to school and head straight to the gym. Um, I started doing it that way because I used to make the excuse. Mm -hmm. I didn't have time to go to the gym. I yeah. got kids. I'm tired. Yeah. But I realized once I put my girls to school, don't go back home. Don't lay down. Yeah. Even if I'm tired, take your butt to the gym because by the time I go to the gym, I'm going to be energized. Yeah. I'm gonna be, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to feel better. Mm -hmm. um, so I go to the gym, do my time there, come home, get to work. Yeah. That's it. We have business from home. We work from home. We have different businesses going on. Everything is done at home. So if you work from home, you got to have discipline. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people think working from home is a blessing. It, it, it is a blessing. I'm not saying, but a lot of people think it's easy. Yeah. No, when you have your own business, you work from home, you don't answer to nobody. Nobody's going to make you do what you know you should be doing. Yeah, it's, okay? real, it's real easy to slack and lack. It's, it's, it's real easy to once you work Very easy. So y'all talking about y'all want to work from home? Yeah, uh, I have your own business. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Because it's, it's, it's real easy to just, you know, be like, eh, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to just lay down today. Yeah. I think I'm going to just watch TV today. It's real easy. Yeah. And see, and see, we don't even watch TV in this house no more. No. We straight YouTube videos, uh, Good, uh, reading audible. books, you know, Audible, you know, whatever. We constantly trying to educate ourselves. And I, I, and I wanted to say something along the lines of what she said. When I get up before 15 in the morning, I'm saying my gratitude. And, you know what I'm saying? And I go ahead and get dressed with them out the door. I'm also listening to either audio books or some kind of morning motivation on the way to the gym. I'm in the gym listening to motivation. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, it sets the day right. Sets your day. It sets your whole day when you yes. listen to something positive early in the morning like that. Indeed, yeah. indeed. So it is very important to have a routine. Yeah. Okay? It's not, it, let me say this again. It's very important for you to have a routine. Yeah. Because it's like, it's the secret yeah. to your, like, the secret to your future hidden is... What to say? The secret to your future is hidden in your daily routine. Yep. Okay? That is the secret. Yep. Your, fu your future is way far out. Yep. But you're going to get to it by having a routine yep. and having good habits. Okay? Yep. So, um, I think we're pretty good on that, guys. What you think? You yep. know? Let us know in the comments what you think. Um, if you want to know more information on something, if we need to do a part two about habits and routines, let us know. We love to hear from you guys. Um, and I think that, is, that includes everything. God is good. Uh -huh. Life is good. Uh -huh. If you look good, uh -huh. you feel good. We live in a life of abundance. All right, guys. I think that's it. We'll see you in our next video. Ciao.